Hey, it's Elizabeth True to Connections. Welcome in, Cancer. I am starting something new. We are going to spill the tea every day. So I'm glad you could be here. Um, let's get started with this setup. Ooh, going into something interesting, you guys. The lie, the wheel, the butterfly. There's been deception, but the wheel is turning. There's change, endings and beginnings coming. And really, really a metamorphosis. Two, three, four. This is an angel number code. We're going to discuss all of this, but let's keep going as we set up and take a look at what is coming in for you, Cancer, so we can talk about what is going on in your life. Some of you may be taking a trip. Some of you are afraid to fly. And this is also the energy 28 of 10. This relates to feeling abandoned, feeling alone, feeling hurt. In fact, you may want to run away. You may want to fly away. But let's take a look even more into the tarot cards to back this up, and then we'll do a deeper dive. Page of Wands in reverse. Ace of Wands. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Nine of Swords. The Hermit. Six of Wands. Transformation in reverse. So... You are fighting this transformation. Okay. The lie that came in really has you stuck. So I want to dive into that and what we can do to help. First of all, let's talk about the concept of the lie what is really going on here and how can you move forward from this so someone is withholding the truth it's a personal state of denial as well so some of you have been lied to or you're even deceiving yourself because you really need to transform and you're fighting it with this reversal you really stuck in your head with this nine of wands and you're not ready for the rebirth that needs to occur you felt stuck but i want you to know that the passion is returning there's going to be small victories uh, but you really have to use your insights the number nine is very strong here so there's really endings that you have to accept and I know it's causing you some grief and the feeling of loss and this stuckness, but you're ready to, to move in a new direction. And when you do that, you will feel much better, but this healing has to occur. And that two, three, four code up there represents that everything in life will align if you you pick yourself back up. Pick yourself back up. Um, a lot of advice in the morning is if you're having morning grief and feeling stuck in grief or in addiction or in um, a cycle of chaos, understand that you can walk towards a new beginning and the two three four is knowing exactly where you need to be it's a spiritual path of rec of recovery so i want you to really embrace the nine energy of the hermit here go deep inside do the inner work do not be afraid to transform Let's flip these two around 
so that we can get out of our heads and into a brighter future. And it really is just a couple clicks away, focusing on bringing the light back into your life so you're not stuck. You can move forward and accept the small victories that come in. And there's a big sense of moving away from this, taking a trip, getting away from it. And I don't want, I want you to do that in the most healthy way possible. The most healthy way possible. All right, so we're going to clarify the um, reversals, the transformation, the death card there. Scorpio energy, we just had a full moon in Scorpio, so let's not stay stuck there. Ace of Wands, double duty. You are going to get your confidence back after you do some of the healing work, and you'll be ready to transform. That is a ram, sure-footed, ready to take the right path forward, you know, in a very grounded way. Three of Wands, this is all about action. We're getting out of the emotions now and into action. This is what's going to move you forward to a brighter future that's not chaotic. And remember, this is also a 10 Ten, nines and tens here so you're then you're moving into these aces of wands and three of acorns three of wands is having the foresight the big picture view of things to help you move forward and it has to do with exploration so whether you take an actual physical trip or you do the journey inside, it's all here. And I know you're waiting. This is like waiting for the things that you've been really praying and wishing for. But the wands are there to remind you to take action. And look, the hanged man and the hermit. This is also 12, which becomes three. So there's a reminder here from a numerology aspect that I need you to communicate these new beginnings. Manifest them, pray about it, ask for guidance, and then you need to do the inner work, shine the light within, be patient with yourself. Have the perspective that you need to see all the options. And then it will be go time. May is going to be more action filled, more action oriented for you, Cancer. Five of Wands, challenge and growth. So this is also, you know, working on your soul's path, your soul's journey, accepting the challenges and the growth. Fives can be a little chaotic. They represent change. But the acorns are wands. Again, it's about putting everything into action so you can really manifest a brighter future here. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. Boy, it just six of wands again. I'm telling you, as you go through this journey that you're doing and you heal, you, you begin the healing journey, you're going to see these beautiful, small victories and triumphs come in. And sixes are really more balanced they are about the muse, about being creative, about communicating and cooperating. Um, it's also about the duality within yourself that you need to balance. And it's also about choices. So as you go down this new path, 
I promise that there will be more cooperation in your life. You will feel the spiritual enlightenment. You will feel more aligned and more trusting in the universe with that two, three, four angel number. And you will feel less abandoned and less alone. As you can see, there's a lot of that energy here. But again, the passion is coming in. We have multiple cards here that you must. Ace of Wands, Three of Wands. This is really all action oriented now, you guys. So you've got to start moving through the steps to get where this can flip around. But you're getting there, Cancer, and I really appreciate you for listening. And I hope this really made some sense to you. Like, follow the channel and drop me a comment if you would. All your input is appreciated. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.